Hey, that's playing at the end. You know, that would be bad. Oh, it's hard, isn't it? Oh, that's very unwindly of us. Hello, my name's Rachel. And I'm Jen. And welcome to our tasting channel. Welcome, and we're trying some more wine today. Uh, so we are trying some um, quite typical wine varieties or wine blends from more re regions that are less commonly from. Because we like things that are a wee bit different. Yes, definitely. And so we are very much new to wine. Yes. Uh, we can talk about whiskey and gin and stuff for days. So yeah. we are kind of like, this is like a come and experience wine with us yep. kind of thing. Yep. We don't, we're not experts. Yep. Totally. Go somewhere else for that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and if you want to uh, give us some pointers, or if you want to suggest some wines to us, mm -hmm. or just, like, please do. Really, we'd love to learn. We'd love any suggestions. Are mm -hmm. great. Um, so this one here is a Lebanese wine. I was dead excited to try this one. Dead excited to try this one. I've heard Lebanese wines are very good, but I've never tried one. There's quite a few countries uh, producing wine now that you would not associate with wine at all. But the fact they've been making wine for a really long time. So do they count, are they old or new world then? That's a good question, so I looked that up because they've, so I was reading about this um, winery in particular and they've been around since the 1800s. Usually old world is Europe, new world is the rest of the world. There's different categories and we could maybe go into this more, more in length in another video. Different categories that you could slot yourself into if you're new world or old world. Things like how old are the, the ways you're traditionally making wine? Are they taken from another country that would be a old world country? Or the, the innovative new ways of making wine, for example? Oh, there's something to do with the, the grape variety names as well? Grape variety names gives you an indication too, but I think also some new world wines can take grape variety ones from names from old world if they're making the same style as them. Right, right, that, that makes, makes sense. sense, that makes sense. So you, you should know by what they've called it, what, what style. to expect, yeah. Yes, ah, again that's though, interesting. I think with, as we're learning with wine, it's like, this is the rule, but... Uh, yes. So this is quite a, not a common blend, but like a more well-used kind of blend recipe. Mm. You look so, like, into your wine, just having a wee look right mm. apart. <laughs> so this one's got Cinsault. I'm acting. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Delicious Whetstone. Delicious Whetstone. Uh, Syrah, uh, Cabernet Sauvignon, and also Car Carignan. Carignan? Carignan? What was the first one? Uh, uh, Senso. Yeah, yeah. Senso. Um, so I've tried Senso as, and I know it as a grape that would be used for a rosé. Mm -hmm. I don't think I've ever tried it in a red that I know of. So I think it's a blend. I, that's quite common to the region at the very least. I think they might mm -hmm. use that in other places as well. And I think quite a lot of their winemaking techniques are quite French in style. Yeah, I guess with their name as well. Yep, yeah, definitely. So this one here, the uh, Just Tendies fermenting blend in concrete vat for about 16 months. So it's there for, for mm -hmm. quite a long time. Um, it's meant to be quite a savoury, quite a full on wine. It smells really, really fruity. It smells very deep. Really deep, yeah. I think like this is really like rich. The most like grown up of the tasting. Does that make sense? Yeah, like the, the yeah. It smells Christmassy. Mm -hmm. It has a spice there. Yep. And it, so this vineyard's been around since 1868. As I said, when our French adventurer came over and set it up and brought mm. the vineyards from France. Bought over recently by three descendants of his Lebanese wife, and it specifies his Lebanese wife, so I don't know if he had other wives. I don't, I've no idea of different nationalities, mm. don't know. Maybe I'd several Lebanese wives. I've, I don't know. I don't know. I'm making assumptions. So three of them are three young people who've bought, um, are taken on the vineyard and kind of, I think they're all women as well, which is quite cool. Yeah, that's cool. And they're leading it. Um, so yeah, like a really full on, like grown up kind of wine, if that makes sense. Mm. Like quite savoury. I have a question. Yes. So they're only descendants of his wife. That's why I thought it was a strange way to phrase it. <laughs> Yeah. Of his wife. That's why I was wondering, like, did, was he here did for a he while? Did he have and lots of wives? So they're, descend they're not just de descendants of him. <clears throat> so they're including that it's specifically that wife that the descendants are from. That's why so I was he wondering. So had multiple that. wives. Yeah. Or are they not descendants of him <clears throat> at all? And it was just the wife. And it was just the wife, and then she's gone and had children with someone else, oh, and they're but descendants. The yeah. So do I. Yeah. But then it's really got nothing to do with him, but apart from there, his vines, that makes sense, right? His vines. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> <gasps>
Mm, very feeling flavour, you'll like that, it's quite strong I think. And really, quite like tannic. is it tannic? I was going to say tannic quite is quite tannic, drying. Quite drying. That is like a step away, this is like a, a grown up wine version of a Christmas mulled wine. Mm. Mm -hmm. Does that mm. make sense? Mm. Mm. Spicy and thick, very mm -hmm. full flavour. It's definitely quite tannic, it's really drying. Mm. There is a wee like fresh note in it as well. Yeah, yeah, uh, I think like quite a complex, that one, yeah, mm. I think it'd be special. Um, Lebanon as well has obviously had a really hard time the last wee while, mm. wee while, long time. Many, many years since the biblical times. <laughs> had like a really <laughs> yeah. um, difficult time of it, so it's quite a contrast of a country in terms of these beautiful vineyards and then um, people who've fallen on really hard times and refugees and things like that, mm. so an unpredictable place to make, but still persevering with some delicious mm. vines. 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 You know, Wines. Wine vineyards. <laughs> Choose one. Wine or vineyards. <laughs> well, I'd be quite happy to support the Lebanese wine industry mm -hmm. if this is what it tastes like. Me too. Mm -hmm. Me too. Mm -hmm. yeah. Cheers. Yeah. Well, if you want more videos like this, um, <laughs> utter nonsense, <laughs> um, subscribe. Uh, comment down below other things you think we should try, whether it's other kind of unusual wines or um, other things from around the world. And yeah, subscribe and subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Subscribe, <laughs> please subscribe and yeah, give and us suggestions. Yeah, and stuff. join us again next time. Cheers! Thank you for joining us. We hope you enjoyed our video. If you did, please give it a like and a subscribe. And you can follow us on social media at The Grail Tastings. See you next time, Slange. So there's it. links to Lebanese wine as well then. This is Lebanese. <laughs> That I've, was amazing! I've jumped to the next one. Ding 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 ding, Rachel! What was the next one? Uh, or what was the last one? Uh, that was Australian.